So uh, coming out right now is a guy I'm really excited to talk to. He's got his own show. It's called Ghosts of the Washington Monument. Please welcome Peter Dell. <laughs> Itself. What are some of the perils of exploring the Washington Monument for ghosts? Oh, it gets hit by lightning all the time. <laughs> that particular monument. Um, so do, you, do you also, like, have you been in there when it's gotten hit by lightning? Yeah! <laughs> I learned you gotta wear rubber sole shoes. Now, did, did you learn that the hard way? Were you shocked uh, one of the first times you were in there? Yeah, it's like, oh, uh, like a regular like a dryer shock, but like, <laughs> worse. <laughs> yes, it's sort of not like a regular dryer shock. <laughs> now, uh, I know in addition to the monument itself, you also hunt for ghosts in the other monuments. Which one out of all of them in Washington is the scariest? Oh, Lincoln has like a lot of black ghosts. <laughs> 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 Because uh, I used to be uh, like a, I was, had experience. I was like a dog hunter. Wait, 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 wait. You hunted dogs? Like you hunted down dogs? Well, yeah, but just to, you know, like a, uh, what do you call it? Animal control. Oh, okay. You should know, when you say dog hunter, it makes it sound like. You hunted dogs for sport. Like no, I know, but you know what? I don't like hunt ghosts for sport. I don't murder them when I catch them. <laughs> so, what do you do when you catch them? I just, I've tried to find out everything I can find out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try to like document the comings and goings, especially what's gonna happen, and so I can warn people. Like, how do you, you know, how do you find out what's going on? <laughs> You got it. You just talked to a man. These used to be people. <laughs> you act like, you know, like, oh, how you know when they're black? How you know her stuff? Like, you talk to them, right? Just say. Well, give me an example know, of like something you learned from a ghost recently in a conversation. Okay, uh, I was in uh, at the brand new uh, MLK monument, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a ghost of just like. This dude that was in like a like a '80s uh, Seven Up commercial. <laughs> he was like, he was like, oh man, it's so like crazy that I'm here because like, you know, my life got cut short. <laughs> Why was he at the MLK money? Because he was that's uh, he was visiting that when he uh, got mugged. <laughs> like, Washington, D.C. is not a nice uh, place crime-wise. Yeah, there is, is a lot of crime there. Yeah, so that's why it has so many uh, ghosts around. Because people are yeah. getting murdered all over the place? <laughs> that's how you create a ghost, murder. No. <laughs> murder is a ghost birth. <laughs> Some other circumstance that's not murder, you don't become a ghost, it's only murder. No, man, no, yeah, because a ghost has to walk the earth, like, you know, and stuff, and then, like, if you're not murdered, then I don't know what happens, but you don't become a ghost. And then it's like, man, I got murdered. <laughs> now, uh, do you, you know, when you, when you find one of these ghosts and you communicate with them, do you then, like, are, are people hiring you to get them to leave or to get them to stop, you know, nobody, haunting or? Nobody hires me to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, I wish, man. You yeah. said it on TV, yeah. if somebody wants to pay me to do this. Well, are, are, are you have your own show. Are they paying you to do your show? Yeah, well, no, it's a reality show. <laughs> I'm reality. What? And they just film it. 
So you saying they should be paying me? <laughs> they should be paying you. I, I will tell you what they should be paying you. Now, so what happens after you find a ghost? Do you get them to leave, or, or do you just do you just no, communicate no, with no, them? No, 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 no. I just like sort of like try to I like to write write down stuff. Like, make a lot of, uh, word documents. <laughs> Just to say, you know, uh, everything I learned. And, you know, it's more like, it's sort of like a, a nighttime interview. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and then once you're done interviewing the ghost, it's just like, all right, man, well, I'll, I'll see you later. Or, like, you, you just leave them there? Uh... Well, no, mostly, like, there's no exit greeting, because they just, like, <laughs> are gone. No. <laughs> so, it's like, there's been times where it's, like, it's, like, the ultimate, talking about ghosts is, like, ultimate, like, cliffhanger. Oh, uh, it's, like, uh, often I ask a question, and it's, like... <laughs> they, what, what do you find is a question that causes them that they don't like to answer? What's a question they don't like to answer? Uh, like... Would you rather be alive? I <laughs> <laughs> like a third time, like to stop asking that. No point. Yeah, because you know the answer. To yeah, that. no point at all. No, uh, 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 this is slightly related. Uh, I know. I've read that you really hate the movie Ghostbusters. Oh, Why do you hate Ghostbusters? Oh, it's a, just inaccurate. <laughs> what? What's inaccurate about it? Well, um. I guess we're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> I think you was just playing next to Adventure Ghostbusters. Uh, uh, what, well, yeah, what's inaccurate about it? Um, well, I mean, like, <laughs> they're made out of marshmallows, and, and like, you know, a lot of those ghosts. So there's no, like, mon- murders. Oh. Like, but, like, I mean, and honestly, like, it, like, there's no sequel to ghosting. <laughs> it, just it just keeps it just keeps going. Yeah. Now, I know, we, we got close to this earlier, but I know you got into ghost hunting after a very close call with one yourself. What? Tell me about the first ghost you met. Oh uh, man. Uh, so I was uh, vision visiting on Washington D.C. Uh, just like trying to you know soak up some of our country's history and stuff like you know. I quit like dog hunting and stop calling it. All right. <laughs> I quit dog hunting. <laughs> uh, it was like a real hard time for me because like my father like hasn't talked to me for a really long time and I I was like just like traveling the country. You know, my father's like he created a uh, like a very successful mediocre computer. <laughs> what, what was it called? Dale. <laughs> it's like the kind of computer like you don't want it in your house, but like businesses will have it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's like they do a lot of spreadsheets. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. boring computer. Yeah, like, they do the boring, just more boring. So stuff. you were in DC and uh, you and I was like your dad for a while. I was like, I'm trying to find a purpose in my life. I don't have a job. I don't have a connection with my family. I'm like, I'll go to the birthplace of this country. And um, <laughs> so then I go up to the top of the Washington Monument, and I won't lie. I was doing some drugs. <laughs> okay. and, um, I appreciate you being honest. And then, I, and then lightning hit me. <laughs> the combination of those two things, I think, opened in me a, sort of a gateway to the afterlife <laughs> for murder. <laughs> and because. It's like, why do I get to see girls and nobody else does? Mm-hmm. I'm like, all the time, like, I wake up, I look in the mirror, I'm like, why are you? <laughs> and I think the answer to that is because I was high and I got stuck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dell, I want to thank you so much. Would you mind sticking around with us for a little while longer? Yeah. All right, great. Peter Dell for a while.